Hi, everybody, and welcome. Hopefully this is working, live streaming on Facebook. Um, we are here for Radical Action Talking Circle. Um, I am Abby, Abby Twyman from Action for Peaceful World and our Alaskan Oasis. Um, I'm super excited to have you here and start out this first cycle of the Radical Action Talking Circle for the Winter Spring um, 2022 series. Um, and feel free to um, chat, um, chat in the, um, your responses as we go along today. <clears throat> so for our Radical Action Talking Circle series that we have going on this year in 2022, our February cycle, which is starting today, is generating momentum in yourself. Our March cycle is going to be um, focused on empowering growth in your family. Our April cycle is going to be focused on uplifting voices in your community. And our May cycle is going to be focused on inspiring change in the world. Um, our motto at Action for a Peaceful World and our Alaskan Oasis is to act with pride. That means that we are acting committedly together with precision, respect, integrity, determination, and enthusiasm. So our general process for the talking circle is we'll start with opening um, welcome and introductions. We'll do a shared reading and heart share. Um, we have some guiding questions during which we'll, we'll harvest responses from our from people who are participating live in our Zoom. Um, and then we'll have closing and committed action. So um, today I'm here in the Zoom room by myself. So you'll just be hearing from me. We're streaming live on Facebook. So you can feel free to share your um, to share your uh, perspectives, your responses, your introductions in the chat. I'm not going to be, I'm not able to monitor them right now, but I will um, check them out and respond to them afterwards. And um, I would love feedback on this, um, on this modality, um, doing live stream on Facebook so people are able to participate in the way that makes most sense to them. So if you have some feedback for, feedback for me, I'm accepting that as well. So in terms of introduction for myself, my name is Abigail Twyman, um, also known as Abby Babs and Mistra the Mysterious. Um, I am a humanistic behavioral scientist, creative writer, and data-driven optimist. I am located in, uh, I work and live in Nocketty Bay, Alaska on Prince of Wales Island. We are, um, in, in terms of a land acknowledgement, we are in Clinkett Ani the traditional homelands of the Clinkett, Haida, and Tsimshian people who stewarded, stewarded this land for millennia and continue to do so. And I, how am I? I'm doing pretty well. I'm excited to be um, launching off our um, winter and spring series 2022 with our Maloney Method Study Circle that happens right before this, and then our Radical Action Talking Circle. Um, and why am I celebrating? I'm celebrating because um, things are starting to come into alignment and I'm really excited to continue to learn and grow with you all um, into the future. Um, when you come into Circle, when you're here participating live, we always review and share our Circle agreements. Um, to make sure that when you come into circle, everybody's on the same page and understands how we, um, how we expect ourselves and each other to interact. So we always share stories that in a way that protect, uplift, inspire, and empower others. So when, you're, when you leave the circle, we're not sharing personal information, but you can share stories. Um, we listen for understanding, are mindful of our impact, and take responsibility for our actions or any hurts we might cause. We're committed to learning and unlearning so we can be more impactful with our actions. We pause to regather our thoughts or focus. Sometimes we might say something like, waste, why am I still talking? Or Gelmo, that's good enough, let's move on. Throughout our time together, we gather gems or quotes 
these are harvested by anybody in the circle. So if you hear something that you really want to kind of uh, capture that thought, we, if you're participating live, we drop that in the chat um, and, and with quotes so we can kind of uh, capture that and share it with others. If you're participating live and you're right in, in your encircle and the opportunity to talk comes to you and you do not feel comfortable, you're always welcome to pass. And we do focus on utilizing sound verbal behavior when we're speaking, that's measured and deliberate speech. So we're very thoughtful and mindful of how our messages are being delivered. So during this cycle, our February cycle, we are going to be doing readings from the book, The Body Keeps Score by Bessel van der Kolk. Um, and this is kind of the general uh, flow of our kind of how we're going to progress through this cycle. During week one, we're going to be, um, uh, I'm gonna be doing a reading from the um, introduction or the prologue, which is facing your trauma. Next week, we'll be doing some readings from the section, the Redis rediscovery of trauma. Week three, readings from this is your brain on trauma. And week four, readings associated with paths to recovery. And what's really important to know about the Radical Action Talking Circle is that this is not a book club. <laughs> by any means. Um, I can't tell you how many book clubs that I have been a part of where people got, were really excited at the very beginning, but dropped off slow, you know, quickly or slowly, but surely um, because people were um, anxious, were concerned that they weren't keeping up with the reading. And so um, we're decided not to come and not to participate. I want to, my goal is to reduce as many barriers to participation as possible. I do not believe that is, it is necessary for every single person to read every single word of every single book in order to actively participate in the discussion and come away um, with, uh, with some, you know, or to be able to share their wisdom or learn from the wisdom of others. And so, um, you know, we will be uh, going live on Facebook, we'll be um, inviting people into the circle in our into our zoom room. And so if at any time you're ready to kind of come in and actively participate, we welcome you to do so. So what I would like to do is I would like to invite you, for those of you who are listening in, I'd like to invite you to get comfortable. I am going to read a passage from the um, prologue, Facing Trauma, and then we'll engage in a heart share, which means that we've engaged in some deep, active listening, or reflective listening. And then our heart share will take a moment to kind of pause and gather our thoughts and then share out our reflections. So again, find your, get yourself comfortable, get ready to just listen and let the words wash over you. Um, as one of my, one of my, uh, the people who has kind of helped shape my practice um, says that, you know, the first reading, we shouldn't be necessarily reading for understanding and comprehension, but the first reading, um, just to let the words wash all over you and feel how it feels, um, listen to your thoughts, um, and just let, um, and just kind of let it sink in. So here it goes. Prologue, Facing Trauma from the book, The Body Keeps Score by Bessel van der, van der Kolk. One does not have to be a combat soldier or visit a refugee camp in Syria or the Congo to encounter trauma. Trauma happens to us, our friends, our families, and our neighbors. Research by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention has shown that one in five Americans was sexually molested as a child. One in four was beaten by a parent to the point of a mark being left on their body. And one in three couples engages in physical violence. 
I apologize. I'm going to pause right there. Um, I failed to um, provide a content warning. This is about trauma. And if you need to step away and stop listening at any time, please do so. Please take care of yourself. Now to continue. A quarter of us grew up in, with alcoholic relatives and one out of eight witnessed their mother being beaten or hit. As human beings, we belong to an extremely resilient species. Since time immemorial, we have rebounded from our relentless wars, countless disasters, both natural and man-made, and the violence and betrayal in our own lives. But traumatic experiences do leave traces, whether on a large scale, on our histories and cultures, or close to home, on our families with dark secrets being imperceptibly passed down through generations. They also leave traces on our minds and emotions, on our capacity for joy and intimacy, and even on our biology and immune systems. Trauma affects not only those who are directly exposed to it, but also those around them. Soldiers returning home from combat may frighten their families with rages and emotional absence. The wives of men who suffer from PTSD tend to become depressed and the children of depressed mothers are at risk of growing up insecure and anxious. Having been exposed to family violence as a child often makes it difficult to establish stable, trusting relationships as adults. Trauma by definition is unbearable and intolerable. Most rape victims, combat soldiers and children who have been molested become so upset when they think about what they experienced that they try to push it out of their minds, trying to act as if nothing happened and move on. It takes tremendous energy to keep functioning while carrying the memory of terror and the shame of utter weakness and vulnerability. While we all want to move beyond trauma, the part of our brain that is devoted to ensuring our survival, our survival deep below our rational brain is not very good at denial. Long after traumatic experience is over, it may be reactivated at the slightest hint of danger and mobilize disturbed brain circuits and secrete massive amounts of stress hormones. This precipitates unpleasant emotions, intense physical sensations, and impulsive and aggressive actions. These post-traumatic reactions feel incomprehensible and overwhelming. Feeling out of control, survivors of trauma often begin to fear that they are damaged to the core and beyond redemption. I'm gonna to skip to the end of the prologue. The challenge is this, how can people gain control over the residues of past trauma and return to being masters of their own ship. Talking, understanding, and human connections help, and drugs can dampen hyperactive alarm systems. But we will also see that the imprints from the past can be transformed by having physical experiences that directly contradict the helplessness rage and collapse that are part of trauma and thereby regaining self-mastery. I have no preferred treatment modality as no single approach fits everybody, but I practice all forms of treatment that I discuss in this book. Each one of them can produce profound changes depending on the nature of the particular problem and the makeup of the individual person. I wrote this book to serve as both a guide and an invitation. 
an invitation to dedicate ourselves to facing the reality of trauma, to explore how best to treat it, and to commit ourselves as a society to using every means we have to prevent it. So for those of you who are listening, I invite you to take a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. We're going to repeat that two more times in through your nose, out through your mouth. And once more, in through your nose and out through your mouth. For my heart share today, what I would like to say to each and every one of you who is considering joining this circle, um, who is listening from afar, we have all experienced some form of trauma throughout our lives. Our family members, our ancestors have experienced trauma. Those traumas are carried forward in our thoughts, our words, and our actions. And it's up to us to be the change we hope to see in the world. It is through these conversations that I hope we can, we can start to unlock our potential as individuals. We can empower our families to change and do better every day. And we can inspire our communities to change and commit to action in the service of our shared values every day. Please share your comments, your thoughts, and your heart shares in the comment section. And I look forward to engaging with you offline. For the next part of our Radical Action Talking Circle, um, this is an opportunity for us to talk about and reflect upon a series of guiding questions. And our guiding questions will change every cycle. Every cycle is four weeks in length. So this is week one. And we and so we have three and we'll have three more um, uh, gatherings of the circle in this cycle, where we're focusing on the book, uh, The Body Keeps Score by uh, Bessel van der Kolk. And we will continue thinking about and talking about and writing about these guiding questions. What are your priorities, values, and goals for yourself this coming year? What actions are you taking in the service of generating momentum? If you'll reflect back, the topic of this cycle is generating momentum in yourself. The third guiding question is what habits do you have which get in the way of your goals? And lastly, what thoughts or urges do you experience when you are not in alignment? When your thoughts, words, and actions are not in alignment with your deeply held values. I look forward to hearing your reflections, reading reflections in the chat and welcoming you into the circle next week um, for week two of this cycle. 
the last part of our action circle cycle model, our radical action talking circle model, is a closing and committed action. This is the time that we're able to really reflect upon and share out and consider our committed actions, our, our commitments to ourselves, our commitments to our families, and our commitments to our communities. And it's also an opportunity for us to share gratitudes, our gifts of gratitude. So we have these uh, writing prompts and speaking prompts where people can have people can share out in the next month I will in the next month my family will in the next month my community will and gifts of gratitude questions to reflect upon to whom would you like to express gratitude how can we thank you for participating how can we express our gratitude to you for participating in these um, shared learning opportunities. And finally, in what ways are you committed to doing better in your life? Thank you so much for joining in to our Facebook Live today. Look in the, look in the chat for registration information for, our, um, for Zoom. So you can, if you are compelled or if you are interested in joining us live in our Zoom room for Circle to participate in these discussions live, we will plan on um, going live on Facebook on our Action for a Peaceful World page. So if you're unable to participate live or you'd rather just listen in and comment in the chats, please feel free to please feel welcome to in, um, engage in that way. And we will also be preparing a summary and transcript of our conversation or a, a readable transcript um, to ensure that as many people um, can participate and join in the conversation and learn with us as we grow together. Much love to you all. Continue acting with pride every day. And I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.